Hi and welcome to the Azam Shop channel. I'm your host Mohammad Azam with another great screencast. In the last screencast, which I think is uh, the part number 24, we covered that how you can create your custom annotations and then display it on the map. Now in this one, what we're going to do is that we are going to create a custom view for our annotations. So if you're putting anything on the map, it appears as a pin, okay? And you can change that. You can change it to anything that you want. And this is what we're going to do. We are going to change the pin into something else. So let's get started. Um, there are There is one method that you need to basically uh, implement to change the view for your animation uh, annotation and I've already created the custom annotation view it inherits from the MK annotation view as you can see and I have just implemented one more um, constructor over here it's pretty much the same constructor that they have the annotation the reuse identifier but I just added a annotation view image and if you see in the implementation, I'm simply assigning it to the image property. Okay. So let's go and implement the method, which is called view for annotation. And this view for annotation is called every time the, uh, basically the map kit delegate, it, it asks for the, hey, okay, I'm going to put this annotation on the map and I'm what is the view for it? So when it asks for the view, this particular method is actually called. So let me copy the uh, what we call the signature for the method. Okay. So here is the method is called uh, view for annotation. Now for the user defined thing or the user position, um, user location basically, you can return nil because you don't really want to change that, right? So you see that icon. Uh, let me actually run this. Let's see what happens. Actually, this doesn't return anything. Um, let's see if it runs. Okay, so it actually blew up that, hey, I'm not returning anything. Um, so let's go ahead and, uh, oops. There it is. Here we go. So we can return anything you want. So I'm just going to return nil over here. And just to uh, give you an idea of what our application looks like. So here it is. Okay. So we have uh, our location over here. Uh, this is our current location. As you can see, the, you know, it's giving the signal that here you are currently. Of course, this is in the emulator and I'm not currently in San Francisco. Uh, so this is a pin that we want to change and this is just says custom annotation and we want to change it to something else We just don't want to uh, for it to appear as a pin We want it to appear as something else and this is what the tutorial this screencast is all about that we're going to change how it looks like Okay, so the first thing you can do is you can say that if annotation uh, is kind of a class and uh, if it is MK user location class then simply return a uh, nil value because we don't really want to change okay what did I do wrong over here now because we simply uh, do not want to change uh, the appearance of our, the user current location okay and I'm just going to say over here annotation dot title uh, I'm about to cross the road and you'll see that why I'm writing that we'll see NNS uh, string and this will be uh, annotation identifier so identifier is basically used so that you can you can add the annotation okay and uh, instead of building the annotation again and again and again what you do is you request the annotation from a DQ or I mean from the queue so that has already been created so it it won't uh, you know it create the annotation again and again so we're just going to say uh, the key or you know basically the identifier is custom view annotation 
and we have already created a custom view and we are just going to say custom annotation view okay equal to um, which is self dot map view and this is the thing that I'm talking about DQ reusable annotation view with identifier and over here we can pass in the identifier that we have and then we can actually cast it out to custom annotation view okay and then if it if it doesn't really have anything let's say if custom annotation view is actually um, not then we can go ahead and create the custom annotation view okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say custom annotation view equal to uh, custom annotation view alloc and then I'm just going to use uh, my own method just going to say reuse identifier which in this case is annotation identifier and annotation image so this will be the image that will be displayed in uh, you know in place of the pin and I do have an image which is red uh, chicken dot png just for fun okay and don't forget to do the show call out so that you can uh, you can basically show the call out and you can say yes over here and then at the end you can say return the uh, custom annotation view okay um, let me see what's going on over here I oh okay so this has to be an image um, so what we are going to do is UI image okay and image named and then I can simply say red chicken dot PNG okay and let's run this and see what the, it looks like and you're gonna see that now we can have a chicken displaying in front uh, I mean instead of the pin okay and when you click on the chicken it's just going to say that I'm about to cross the road of course the size of the chicken is kind of large with respect to the map and that's because the chicken image that I have is a little bit larger size of the image you can al always use the smaller size of the image or you can use the uh, UI graphics begin image context and you can redraw the image um, I, I prefer that you use just smaller images because gra uh, drawing and graphic drawing and using the graphic context in such a way I think it will be really bad for performance instead of you can simply go there and get a smaller image of the chicken or anything that you just want to display uh, basically for your custom view that's pretty much it I, I hope you like this video tutorial and I hope that you find it very very useful and if you do once again uh, your donations are always appreciated uh, you can donate using PayPal at azamsharp at gmail.com also if you have any questions any comments you can go and you can uh, comment on the YouTube videos I do reply to the comments okay thank you very much and you have a great day